The safety of children is coming into question right now in Pasco County, where leaders are looking to get tough on sex offenders. Good evening, everyone. I'm Linda Hurtado. And I'm Jamison Euler. Sex offenders moving to Pasco County will soon have major restrictions as to where they can live. That, after a new, tougher ordinance unanimously passes today. Our Eric Waxler is live tonight in Newport Ritchie with the details. Eric. Yeah, Jamison, all the county commissioners did vote in favor of this new ordinance and those tougher restrictions, even after hearing firsthand from a man who was convicted for having sexual activity with a child. I've made a terrible mistake. And I'm doing everything I can to correct it. James Reese wants Pasco County commissioners to understand his side. He is a registered sex offender, but says he's trying to rebuild his life and tougher laws about where he can live make it too difficult to work and care for his six-year-old son. And if I get a chance to move to a better location, let's say I move next door to where I am now, I fall under this ordinance and now I have to go 2,500 more feet away. Reese and the other 906 sex offenders currently living in Pasco County will not be forced to move out of their homes unless they violate probation. But any new offenders and those relocating to Pasco won't be able to live within 2,500 feet of places like schools, playgrounds, and daycares. If we can save just one child from being a victim, one child, one, I feel the ordinance is worth it. I really sincerely do. The ACLU has challenged similar ordinances in places like Miami-Dade County, saying it leaves some offenders with so few options they end up homeless. Under Pasco's version, not all sex offenders will face the restrictions, just those who supporters say are the worst of the worst. We're not talking about crimes of Romeo and Juliet, an 18-year-old and a 17-year-old at times getting together. The victims were children. The Bible teaches you about love, and I love my son. And the Bible teaches you about sin, and it's public record that I've sinned. But the Bible also teaches about forgiveness. And I'll forgive you when you pass this ordinance. And I hope you'll forgive me. And you really could hear a pin drop when Reese was speaking. The commissioners actually thanked him for speaking out in the meeting, calling him brave to do it. Also in this ordinance, by the way, tougher restrictions during Halloween. Sex offenders won't be able to put out uh, decorations on their homes, and they will not be able to give out candy. Live in Newport, Richie, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News. Eric.